Michael set up a night vision camera to film the doll. What year is this? I don't know. The video that you are about to see right now, kid, is some of the craziest paranormal evidence I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, so we have a video here. It looks like it was taken with some sort of night vision camera. Mr. Fritz is inside the glass case by himself. Keep your eyes on the case. <laughs> look, I've examined this first instance a lot. And let me tell you, look at this motherfucker. You can even see the uh, reflection of the glass as it moves on the wall just to the side of it. I've run this back like probably nine or ten times. I can't really see any fakery. Also, you said you didn't know when this was. There's a massive date on the video here which says 2019. Well, that's when it was then, Einstein. <laughs> Sorry, I was so overwhelmed by the paranormal evidence that time itself doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, I can see blood on your computer keyboard. Your your nose obviously started <laughs> bleeding. You were so blown away. Look, when you get when you get we we when 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 listen here, Slow little, down. no no, I'll speed up. I'll speed up if anything, son of a bitch. When you get brought up onto an alien craft and have a rod of nuclear goo put up your shiter. Yeah. And then you're s thrown back on Earth like a fish out of water. Do you think I'm going to remember what f***ing day it was? I don't you even should. remember what year it was. You should, because the first thing you're going to have to do is call the police and tell them what happened. So when I see a puppet move glass with its mind... We don't know that's what happened. I don't even know what planet I'm on anymore. <laughs> you should. Okay? So actually, also, watch when it. when you get dropped back down to Earth from a spacecraft, you're not a fish out of water. You're just... You're just <laughs> You, by a human back on Earth. I don't know what they did to me up there, man. I feel like sometimes I belong on the craft more than I belong down here. So this happened to you? You know, it did, actually. And that's why I don't remember a lot of things in my real life. Like, for example, the year that Mr. Fritz opened a case with his mind. I think there might be a string attached to the door handle. Well, Kit, then how are you going to explain this next event? This is uh, next night. Uh, the next night. Interestingly, yeah, all if, we, if we have to specify, because <laughs> Kit is so obsessed it with time, kind of he's, he's like a fucking grandfather clock. He's just he can't even yeah. he can't even think about anything else other than time. Uh, hey, I think I think this is why we make a good team it's because you're focused maybe on the details. I'm I actually just, don't I'm care about the with details some fresh, either. <laughs> I'm just coming <laughs> in with some fresh eyes and just seeing some stuff that you didn't, you know, namely when it happened. Uh, I think it's time you you stop. Okay. And you just watch. I will just point out that it was the next night. Interestingly, both of these things happening very close to the paranormal hour. I think the first one it said about 3.30 in the morning. This one looks to be 3.36. Really? Is that is that relative time? The paranormal hour? Is that something that I should be aware of? It seems, we've talked about it on many episodes. It seems mm. kind of relevant, yeah. Well, I just said how much I don't care about time or years or... Yeah, he's planets quite a lot at one time, point. Yeah. So it seems like okay. Well, if that if that makes you believe, which things, is fine, because you said you I, you think you belong more on their planet now. I said something. a lot of things. I said a lot of things. But if if you think the time, you said they put actually, nuclear goo up your ass. <laughs> I, a rod. It was a rod containing goo, much like a glow stick or a frube, which is of course yogurt in a tube. So if I could direct your attention right here to the uh, the time kit, I think you'll find it's actually pretty close to the paranormal hour. I already said that. Yeah, but we're gonna cut that shit. So I, <laughs> I say it and I sound like I know what I'm saying. This was night number two. <laughs> your voice is completely changed. <laughs> <laughs> this is night number two, motherfucker. Watch up and get ready actually, <laughs> get, ready to, <laughs> get ready to wipe that smile off your face. Okay. Cause when I saw this, I was shitting goo for days. <laughs> yeah, that was the abduction. <laughs> that was the abduction. I was so scared. I was shitting goo for days, man. You're not, you're not gonna believe this. This is night number two. You're the paranormal hour. Did you see that? The door opened again. Watch the face. Whoa! Nah, 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 <laughs> nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. I'm crying. It's genuinely actually kind of freaky. Actually crying. I forgot how actually. <gasps> fucking hell, dude! It's genuine. It genuinely kind of freaks me out. I forgot. Joking. <gasps> I don't love this. I don't love what's happening. It make it, it, it makes you uncomfortable, right? Yeah, because he looks. It looks like a goddamn beheading victim. It, it looks so realistic and awful. There's a ton of little movements 
that are so weird and creepy and they're being done so naturally that you can actually see the strings underneath the puppet's head being pulled by themselves. So there are strings? There, of course there's strings! But they're part of the, me the mechanics of the beast! Today with Mr. Fritz, what do you want? We caught the son of a bitch, red-handed! 